What's going on guys? So in this video today, it's gonna to be a quick one, but I just wanted to show you some new items that I got for both the ST and for the Heritage. Pretty excited about it. Figure hopefully you guys will be too. Been trying to make my mind up on a lot of it, but what they are, Suicide Chopper's backrests. I've got this one here, which is a 16 inch uh, black with the red diamond stitching to match the seat on the Heritage. And then for the ST, which doesn't currently have a backrest right now, I just got the 16 inch black with the black flat uh, pad because they don't have gray stitching. So Suicide Choppers, if you're listening, sent you an email, got no response before I purchased. I really would have liked some gray stitching to go with everything else on my bike. You've got orange, you got red, you got white, um, no gray. So something to think about. But anyway, so I just got the, the regular plain, non-perforated, non-hatched uh, backrest for that. So like I said, I don't have a backrest on the ST yet. I've been kind of waiting to try to decide different ones to get. But what I did have or do have, as you guys saw from a previous video, is I do have Harley's backrest for the Heritage. You know, nice little backrest, got the luggage rack on it. I still have my uh, flags mounted from my uh, Honor the Following video that I, or Fallen video that I did a little while ago. And there's nothing wrong with this, but it's just a very blase. And this back pad, it moves down, right? No matter how tight you get it without pulling the screws through, so not real happy with it uh, for that reason. If I have somebody sitting on the back of my bike and they scooch around or something like that, I can totally imagine that thing falling off and flipping down the road. What's the point, right? So I still have to figure out a backrest solution for the Heritage, but I do have one for the ST and as soon as that comes in, I'll show you guys what that is, right? So in any case, let me uh, spin the cameras around. We'll start out on the ST, and then I'll show you the Heritage. Uh, a little bit different between the two, uh, just because you got to add some different hardware if you don't already have the uh, mounting kit for the ST. It's fine, works with the stock one. For the Heritage, it won't work with the stock mounting kits for the soft bags. You have to put in a different mounting kit because the diameter is a little bit smaller for the cam locks to go around it and, and I'll show you that. A little interesting, no instruction with it, not that you really need them, but there is multiple pieces that I was like, mm, how do these go? So had to get creative, figure it out, try a few different things and uh, then I found some intricacies that I want to show you on getting it latched in on the Heritage because I had a couple things where I had to do some, not modifications, just some corrections. So I'll show you that. But anyway, let me get the camera turned around. Like I said, we'll start with the ST, quick and easy, and then we'll move over to the Heritage and I'll show you a little bit more about that one. So cool. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so got the camera turned around, looking at the back of the bike. You can see here that these are the stock uh, mounting kits for the ST. And you've got the, the back cam, you've got the forward cam. And then along your shock strut, I don't know if you can see right here, look at my hand, yeah. You can see right here, there is another little indent right there, a little cam spot that's part of your strut where your shock mounts to it, right? So the way they've designed these is that they're going to connect the forward point here and then the backward back end point's gonna go here, which will leave you these two spots for any kind of luggage rack configuration. Uh, they have their own at Suicide Choppers. Uh, they have different ones too. Just fix on your style, how you wanna go and stuff like that. So these are the areas that we're gonna be focusing on when you go in. So pretty short and simple. Get up here on here, see if I can get a good shot. So if I focus down on the inside strut area, hopefully you can see right there, it's more forward than you think it is. It's not utilizing these here for that. It's up here in the front. And then you've got these cams, locks right here on either side. And when you come back, 
those snap down over this back outer piece right here and you push them down and then lock and then sometimes it takes a little finagling lock and really that's it she's on she looks good um, very secure nice quality nice thick look to it adds a little bit of attitude with the spike going over and i really enjoy the aesthetics of it so pretty simple and easy for that and let me now back off and i'll show you what it looks like uh, attached to the bike all right so there you have it that's what it looks like sitting on the bike like i said matches really nice uh, with the sleekness and the styling of the ST. So pretty happy with it, real excited about it. And uh, that's about it, pretty simple. Uh, great people to work with over there. Like I said, they don't respond to their email, but there's a lot of information on the site and a video that shows how to put these on for the Touring models, but it doesn't show how to put them on for the soft tails, at least that I could find, which is why I sent them an email because of that barrel kit. So. We'll see if something happens there. So Suicide Choppers, if you're listening or you happen to see run across this thing, one, sponsor me, but also, you know, got some questions and it's important that uh, you get the feedback from your customers, especially pre-purchase, because these are a significant investment. So, all right, let me turn the camera back around for the Heritage and we'll show you that one. All right, be back in a minute. Okay, so now we're turned around face down on the Heritage. So for those that may not have a Heritage, um, you've got two mounting points right here for your bags, uh, back side here, front side here, and the backrest or luggage rack, all, all, not the luggage rack, but the backrest hooks into here, and then the luggage rack hooks onto the back of the backrest by design. So the stock ones are these little guys right here, and there's an indention hole on this side that when these go in, they go in there and stick in there and then you run a long bolt through them. When you get the kit that comes with the bag or with the backrest, they send you these bolts and new cam attachments and these little pyramid guys, which kind of threw me, but um, then I kind of figured that they were doing like a general soft tail thing, not something specific for the heritage. So you just got to kind of figure it out. But it would have been nice if they had in the instructions that said, hey, for a heritage, do this because you have bags. For a regular soft tail or a fat boy or something like that, these bolts would probably work, but they were too short to go through the bag and into the thing. So what I had to do was figure out how they matched up. So on the front of the backrest, there's a thin little attachment that I'll show you in a minute. And on the back is a thicker one, but in both cases, the size of this cam insert or mount, I guess, is thicker here than it is there. And I don't know if you can see it, but one side is thick, one side is thin, where in theirs, they're both thin. So you kind of had to figure out what was going on. So I took the new insert that they gave me and I took this sexy little angled thingy and put it end to end like this. So it went in the little uh, indent here like it normally did, which when I put them together, it matched up to the same side as the stock one. And then on this, this side here, you have to do the same thing. I'm sorry, let me back that up. This side you don't put the insert on, this side you do. When you add these two together, it's the same length as this one here. So scratch that. This insert, no insert. And then you feed the longer bolts through that came with these bags, and then you put them in. And then it goes in and, and latches. So if you try to use these stock ones, the cam won't go around it. It wants to, but it won't because I think the width of this gets in the way so it doesn't allow it to flow. They didn't give instructions, like I said, so I kind of had to figure it out. So they give you four of these little guys. When I tried to put it on 
the back one with it, same kind of configuration, push my bag out real far. So this one went on with no little uh, angle thing here. The front one is almost half the size. So using this one as an example, I put this like this and it equaled the same width and diameter. So these are now flush and doesn't look stupid, right? Hanging out there, but it'd really be nice if they had some instructions because trying to figure it out is great, but you know, put instructions in your stuff, man. Make it easy. So what I did was in the front one, put the thinner connection with that in there, ran the longer bolt that came with my original setup because the new ones won't work. And then this one, no spacer, long bolt through, bolted in and mounted up. And that's the configuration that you have. Now, when I tried to mount it in, and I'll show you. So these now go in that little groove and this little groove and they're flexible, which is good. And then it comes over and catches those locks just like on the ST, right? Right here. So the problem I ran into where I said I needed some finagling is these cams, there's a screw on the outside right here and either through shipping or as you're moving them around, uh, you can spin this thing out and it'll back that out and increase this gap between the cam and this part of the, the mount, right? And so when I was trying to put it on, it wasn't lining up right and trying to chew up the barrel and it was irritating, right? So tried to figure out what was gone. I went on their site, looked at a bunch of stuff. Of course, they didn't have anything. They just had a real cool, sexy picture of, you know, this little kit that you gotta have. It's all you need for soft tail, but it didn't have any instructions. So again, to the site choppers, put instructions with everything. People like me are stupid. We need, we need pictures. I'm a, I'm a visual learner. So it'll really help out do that and answer your emails once again, sent you two of them. But anyhow, so once I noticed that, this side was a little bit looser than this side and further away. So I adjusted those. Then once I did, then it started to slide in there and not mess around. And you notice how I push that in right there like that to get in those grooves. Then when you shove that down, much as with the other one, then you come over here and you push these down till you hear a snap. And let me go around the other side because they're new and it's gonna take a too few times of it working. But same thing here, this little cam lock, push that down, make sure you get it all lined in there. That's a little bit of a pain, all right? So you just push it, snap, and there you go. Now it's on there real good, not going nowhere and looks really nice and I'll, I'll switch, switch the camera around but really matches the whole theme with everything that I go in but uh, let me show you what it looks like from a distance. So now you can see how it looks on the bike and it just really gives it a nice little aesthetic uh, much like the ST right so if we have this one here and then we switch over to little mini me a little bit bigger bike jumps up there and you can see they just look really cool on the bikes. Uh, might be for some, might not be for some, but I just think it looks cool. It's much better just than standard old drab uh, backrest. And these things are built, dude, let me tell you. They are very thick tubing you can get. I think it's inch and a quarter, an inch and a half in the tubing. And so whatever your preference is. So like if you have um, meat hooks on your bike, like I have for now on this, and I have on the Heritage, then it really matches up nice, right? So uh, overall, great product. Like I said, doesn't come with any instructions. You get a sticker with some very well-wrapped backrests and that's it. And for the Heritage one, because it's soft tail, they included the, the uh, barrel kit in there for the mounting hardware. So thankfully they did, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to put it on until I got it. So. Anyway, that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a quick one. Figured I'd do just two in one because it's like three minutes to do it. 
But uh, like, subscribe, give me any feedback, let me know your thoughts, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, see you later.